Hi. Uh, I guess I'll just jump right in. The next topic I wanted to talk about, obvious from the title, uh, intelligent design, or the lack thereof. Uh, it kind of churns my stomach, the level of dishonesty that Christians use in this aspect. That since they couldn't get creationism into the classroom, because there's no evidence for it, nothing backing it up, it's just... Uh, uh, something from an old book. So they couldn't sneak it into the classroom uh, to be taught in science classes opposing evolution. Now they're trying to present intelligent design as a theory that should be taught in opposition to evolution. Uh, and it's the level of, of dishonesty, the lack of integrity that they use in doing this just sickens me really. I mean, what, come on, you're trying to present this being and, and sinning is wrong and uh, right there in your Ten Commandments, thou shalt not bear false witness, but that's all you ever do. Uh, it's what you use to try to present your argument and uh, make your case stronger. Uh, and it's a complete and utter fail. One, intelligent design is not a scientific theory. There's no science backing it up. It's an idea. The theory of evolution, on the other hand, is a scientific theory. It explains the evidence and the facts that we have. There are no ev is no evidence. There are no facts for intelligent design. There's nothing to back it up other than logical pro progression and an idea. Uh, and even logic doesn't work because there are so many leaps and holes in the stated theory of intelligent design. And you, yet you try to put it on par. They want it taught in science classes as an alternative. Um, find evidence for it. Give proof. Then maybe we can start teaching it. Uh, but even then, it wouldn't be an argument against evolution. One, you would have to disprove evolution. And even if you could do that, it would not mean intelligent design wins by default. You have to um, prove intelligent design. You have to give a reason for us to consider it intelligent design. Um, people have tried for 150 years now to disprove the theory of evolution. It still stands. Please keep trying, though, because through these challenges, we learn more. Uh, we do fill in the gaps. Uh, the theory of evolution grows and becomes stronger because of these, so please keep trying. Uh, we'll wait. Uh, If you want to claim intelligent design, you have to prove there was an intelligence. You have to show that there was a designer, uh, which is where your creator comes from. This is what you're trying to sneak in, that God, that an intelligence designed everything, and to do all of this, it had to be a supreme intelligence, therefore a supreme being, therefore, oh, God, the creator of everything. Uh but if you want to argue that supreme intelligence, just look at the human eye. The way it is built, uh, it's backwards and upside down pretty much. There's built-in interference in our vision from blood vessels and other things uh, that only an idiot would design it that way. Now, evolution explains it because small changes in progression over time that still holds vestiges of the ancestral organ that it is replacing as it develops. Uh, that's an argue against the intelligence of a designer. Wisdom teeth are an, is an argument against the intelligence of a designer. There are several arguments against anything intelligent having designed the human body or many, many other species on this planet. Uh, the reason things look like they were designed is because through evolution, the things that didn't fit died off. Uh, natural selection. Only the things that did work within our reality have survived. Uh, that's why it looks like everything should fit together and work together and was designed this way. It's just how it happened. Uh, you still have to prove it. And I, for one, would want creationists, theists, Christians, believers in any religion for that matter, to start having a little bit more integrity, to set a, a level of standard for excellence and research and presenting evidence for their claims. 
Um, that's what I would like to see. Uh, the lack of integrity that they use in presenting these things to try and convince other people uh, to accept their beliefs and uh, start worshiping this deity is just sickening to me. The, the complete lack of integrity that they have, that they possess, when they present arguments in this manner. Now, that's not saying that all believers don't have integrity. Uh, but when they use these types of arguments, they're severely lacking in it. Uh, they want to decry the evidence that we actually possess for evolution and say, well, it's not enough evidence, so evolution, you can't prove that it's completely true. Uh, but then they want to turn around and present intelligent design, which is just an idea with zero evidence to back it up. Uh, and it's just, it's ridiculous. It's laughable, in my opinion. 